include everything. All right, guys, we are uh, back in uh, Code Combat doing Backwards Forest. Defense of Plainswood. Uh, we're going to use argument, strings, and basic syntax. It looks like we need to equip our trap hammer here instead of our sword. Let's go ahead and get started. So the villagers must survive. That's our main goal here. All right, let's get started, guys. So what we're trying to do is basically build a wall here and here uh, before the villagers get attacked. So if you remember correctly, we got this nice little tool, which we can say hero.buildxy. We want to put a fence, and we want to put it at coordinate 40, 53. And then same thing here at 3919. So hero dot build xy. And that was 3919, if my memory serves me right. And when we run it, it should he should go build this fence first. What a ting! Not today, son. And then not you either. That's it. Pretty cool. So we're building fences now. Uh, looks like we're picking up some boots. Boots are good. Leather boots. We'll see what they can do for us. Alright, up next, we're at the winding trail. Basic syntax, arguments, and strings. So this is going to give us plus two movement speed. It's also going to give us our move XY, which, uh, do we have that? No, what we have in our current move hover, is it's going to, or before we could only move right or left, now we can move directly to a location, a, def a coordinate location. So like what we were going to want to first do is move here, move here. Um, we want those jams, so we're going to probably build a fire trap here, taunt this guy out, get those jams, and go back. So let's, let's see if we can, uh, so let's see what happens right now. So the first thing is, you'll see right here, we set the path, they're moving, she's moving right there. Cool. Next, what we want to do is here to move X, Y, and then what is this at 3659, 36.59, and then next, what we want to do is move to 37.14, uh, 37.14, uh, 37, 14. Let's go ahead and run this, uh, make sure we're doing things correctly. So. She should move up. It's going to then move down. We are then going to, let's go ahead and pause this. We're going to um, build hero dot build xy. Except instead of a fence, what we want to build is a fire trap. Uh, let's see, was it capitalized fire trap? Uh, let's, let's go ahead and run this to see what happens. It may say that fire trap doesn't exist. Okay. Let's try it like that. Run again. See if fire trap exists like that. No. Did we not learn fire trap yet? I thought we could, I thought we could do that. Okay, so. Oh, we didn't build in the right spot. So that's 7225. My mistake. So let's go 72, 25. Let's go ahead and run that. Cheshin. So we're going to build that guy. So what we can do here is we're going to run up and then run back down and let this fire trap kill him. So we're going to go hero dot move xy. And we'll move to about like 73. 738 73 38 and then we're gonna want to move we'll move back to about right here 5318 so hero dot move xy 5318 now let's go ahead and run that and see if our, our current game plan is working get the first gem, gem get the second gem move and build a fire trap move up to taunt this guy a little bit maybe a little too much and then back up damn all right, so apparently we can <laughs> we can lay off our own fire trap. So what we need to do is we're gonna actually probably move it to like 
32. Let's change this to 32. We don't want to go out too much because we took a lot of damage there. Um, so we're going to... Oops. We're actually going to go ahead and change... I didn't mean to change that value. This should remain 25. So we're going to go up, not as far, but we're going to go up first, then build the fire trap. And we want to change that to a 32. And just so that this looks a little cleaner. All right, now let's run it. Now I think we should get, get a gem, get a gem, pass this, build a fire trap. Cheshin. Boom. All right, cool. Now all we have to do is move back to get the gems. So this is at 7360. Move X, Y, and we'll say 7360. All right, I think we're golden here. Get the gem, get the gem. Build the, build the trap, let him die of the trap. Get the rest of the gems. Very nice. Alright, uh, looks like we're getting a new item also, called the Prom Promaticon 2. Pretty cool. Um, so, because the Backwoods Forest is going to take a little longer, we're only going to be doing about three of these at a time compared to the five that we were doing before. So, Patrol, Buster, Basic Syntax, Arguments, and some other stuff. Alright, so... We're gonna be, oh, we're getting into else, else, if, and loop. So we're getting our loop, but we're also gonna get if and if else. And we're gonna need our sword this time through. Your hero must survive in clean code. All right, so, goals, your hero must survive. You now have access to the to the powerful if statements. Check your toolbar lower right for, for extra information. Okay, so we're basically gonna check if an enemy exists so while true, and then we're going to say, look, if there is an enemy, we want to attack. Otherwise, we have nothing to attack. That's basically why we're using our if statement. So we're going to say hero dot attack enemy. That should be it. So now, now, right now, we're not getting a message like, hey, we don't, there's nothing to attack. It doesn't exist. This is saying, look, if the enemy exists, if, if it's an object, if it's not undefined or if, if it's not null, attack. So, right here we're finding an enemy, but in this downtime it would have been breaking. Very nice. So, uh, we could also have done an else statement to do something, but we'd had nothing else to do. Pretty cool. So, we'll continue on in Backwoods Forest in the next video with Thumbbiter. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And a special thanks to anyone who supports me on Patreon. It's really appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And support me on Patreon. Check out WayUp.com. It's a great way to find full-time jobs, internships, part-time jobs, and one-time freelance work for the college student. All you need is a .edu email. It's completely free, and you'll help me out in the process too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.